Isang malaking pasabog na revelasyon ang nilabas ng lyricist at composer na si Lolito Go tungkol sa hiwalayan ni na Moira De La Torre at Jason Marvin Hernandez. Anya, hindi na niya daw maatim ang mga naririnig niyang pambabash laban kay Jason. Dahil kung tutuusin, may dark side din si Moira. Matapang din tong sinabi na hindi si Jason ang cloud chaser kundi si Moira mismo. Takot daw itong malaos at mawala ang kanyang career sa pagkanta. Manggagamit din daw si Moira dahil ayon sa kanya, 95% ng kanta nito ay sinulat ni Jason. At nilamon na raw ng fame and fortune si Moira kaya bigla raw itong nagbago. Wala din daw third party si Hiwalayan. Ang tanging kasalanan ni Jason ay nagpunta ito ng spa massage para sa tawag ng laman. At nang malaman ito ni Moira ay hindi na nito matanggap si Jason. Isang mahabang post ang mababasa sa kanyang Facebook account na may titulong Breaking My Silence About The Jason Moira Breakup. Sa unang bahagi ng kanyang Facebook post ay inisa-isa ni Lolito ang lahat ng kanyang mga nalalaman tungkol sa pagkatao at pag-ugali ni Moira, base na rin sa personal experiences niya sa ex-couple. Buong post pa ni Lolito, Breaking my silence about the Jason Moira breakup. Warning, long post ahead. Kung maiksi attention span mo, huwag mo na basahin. Una sa lahat, I will share only what I believe I know about the story. based na rin sa personal experiences ko with the ex-couple. Moira used to be a friend to me, absentininang ni Lodwig. She was proxied by her whole family nung binyag. We were from the same city, Olonga po, but we only got to know more about each other during the grand finals of Himig Handog 2017, kung saan naging grand winner ang kantang Titibo-Tibo na personal song namin ni Libertine. Doon na rin namin nakilala si Jason at iba pang malapit sa buhay nila. After Titibo-Tibo, nagkaroon pa kami ng ilang song collaborations ni Moira. The most recent was the song for presidential bet Lenny Robredo. Mind you, I was not paid a single penny for the songs I wrote. There was an instance pa nga na I was not even included in the credits sa Spotify. Kung hindi ko pa pinuna, hindi niya ipare-rectify. Rhyme intended. Maiba pang pagkakataon na nahahalata kong there's something about Moira. It could be a mental health condition. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Pero nahahalata ko na napapadalas ang pagsisinungalin niya. Kung sa akin nagagawa niya to, ano pa kaya sa mga taong mahal na mahal siya? I have proofs in case I'll be asked to produce them. Iniisip ko na lang Baka epekto ito ng stress dahil sa napaka-hectic niyang schedule. Or baka side effects ng mga meds niya for her conditions, picos, psoriasis, etc. Which she publicly talks about naman. In other words, I always gave her the benefit of the doubt. Di ko na mabilang kung ilang beses niya akong binigo sa lahat ng requests ko sa kanya. Kahit pa para sa advocacies. I asked her kahit maikling video message for a mental health awareness campaign, which she allegedly champions. Pero sinin zone niya lang ako. Iniisip ko na lang, baka she just couldn't decide on her own. Lahat daw kasi ng kilos at galaw niya had to be coordinated with her management. Pero kapag siya magkailangan, she would call me, kahit alanganing oras, with matching iyak pa. When she asked me to write a song for Lenny, she just edited some of the lyrics and it became hers na. She also asked me to pen the caption for her sock mid posts about the song. Pero sa mga press release, she got the credits. When Moira needs you, she will make you feel loved and cared for. Magaling siya mambola. She even asked me kung magkano price ko for ghost writing for her last year nung nagkakalabuan na sila ni Jason. When I told her my price, tinawaran niya ako for 20k per month. I felt so insulted. But I just kept that to myself. When I finally had enough May last year, I blocked her in Facebook and Messenger 
complete with a long breakup letter. People are telling us, walang moira kung wala ang titibo tibo. But we never indulged ourselves with that idea. And we maintain that Moira is self-made. She has exceptional gifts and one way or another, she'll make it to the top kahit wala ang mga komposisyon namin for her. Fast forward tayo sa hiwalayan. I have been itching to write about this a few months ago pa. Hindi ko na kasi matake ang pambabash ng publiko kay Jason. But Jason stopped me because he still wanted to protect Moira. Hindi totoo ang kantang Eme ni Moira na wala naman akong kasalanan. Looks and voice can definitely deceive. This soft-spoken lady with the voice of an angel who always seems to have a sunny disposition and has a penchant for quoting the Bible has a dark side unknown to many. A wolf in sheep's clothing, ika nga. And I am not surprised sa kung ano man ang narinig ko from those people who saw the whole story, na friends and family din ni Moy. I was strongly advised not to leak any of these, to not even mention it to anyone. But I refuse to be quiet. I refuse to be neutral. To be neutral in times of injustice is to take the side of the oppressor. In this case, Moira is more of an oppressor than a victim. Jason took all the blame took all the bashing in the name of love. That's how he was raised. To roll with the punches. To give the other cheek. Jason and Moira are both Christians. Pero mukhang si Jason lang ang faithful with the teachings of Christ. Yes, nagkasala siya. Pero walang third party on Jason's side. He never fell in love with anyone else. His only sin was he listened to the call of flesh and availed of illicit massage service because Moira couldn't fulfill his sexual needs. And even before Jason confessed to his sin, Moira already wanted out dahil nakahanap na rin siya ng pamalit. Someone who will dance in the rain with her and call her Binibini. I leave it to you to guess sino ang tinutukoy ko. Jason was mocked, wrongly accused, and crucified, while Moira was busy washing her hands and capitalizing on their breakup by writing awkward songs that only serve her interests and twisted sense of reality. Yes, you can say that Jason is also trying to capitalize on the breakup, but not for clout. It is predicated on his desire to restore the marriage. While Amy is mockingly lashing out on Jason, Ikaw pa rin is a low-key, heartfelt song that puts Moira on the pedestal of treasured memories. See the difference? Believe ako sa lalaking ito. Because he carried on with his faith, he admitted to his sins and faced all the consequences. He did everything to win back Moira despite all the pushback. Samantalang yung isa, busy with grooming her image, takot malaos. Will do everything and will step on the back of other people in pursuit of clout and longevity. Despite all the things said and done, I was still hoping for a second chance for Moira and Jason. I've seen uglier and messier breakups. Kami mismo na asawa ko, we experienced worse, but we held on. Napatunayan na ni Jason that he is willing to do his part to restore the marriage. Napatunayan na ni Jason that he can withstand the torrent of insults and hate. He never once defended himself the past year from all the lies made up about him being gay, pumatol sa may asawa, may kabit, manggagam, etc. Fun fact, did you know that 95% of Moira's hits were composed by Jason? Paubaya, Ikaw at Ako, Pabilin, Edsa, Patawad, Kumpas, Babalik Sayo, Saglit, and the list goes on. Now tell me, sino ang manggagamit? He was willing to go down history as the only, only bad guy, the only one who made a mistake. But Moira kept singing and releasing defamatory songs against Jason. 
filling up Araneta Coliseum and touring the world with one purpose for her shows, to get people's sympathy. So I am breaking my silence so that the truth can finally come out. Despite what I said against Moira, I cannot discount the fact na nagsimula siyang mabuting tao. She's just probably overwhelmed with success and the medications, a fatal combination. I hope she can still find it in her heart to forgive. I hope mamayani sa kanya, yung true nature niya, na marahil ay nila mo na ng fame and fortune. And everything that goes with it. Ang pinakapunto ko rito, it's easy for us to root for someone at the expense of another. Sobrang olats talaga ng cancel culture. We hated Jason so much without knowing the backstory. I feel sorry for his family. They didn't deserve to be dragged into this mess. I pray for their healing. At sana lang, this issue can be mended privately instead of this never-ending trial by publicity. Trending ang nasabing post ni Lolito Go at inulan ito ng samot-saring reaksyon sa social media. Iilan sa mga komento, Cheating is still cheating. Ang pakipagtalik sa iba, kat alam mo na may jowa, partner ka, ay kailanman never naging minor issue. Moira isn't Christian enough, like Jason is. Stop saying that. What kind of Christian and a married man at that succumbs into lust dahil nagkukulang sa kanyang kanyang asawa? I'm not a fan of hers. But as someone with ADHD, somehow nakaka-relate ako kay Moira sa part na out of sight, out of mind. I can be active on SOCMED, yes. But we'll get back to your messages next year. Even so, dapat lang talaga imi-mention ni Moy yung mga taong nag-help sa kanya. Magsulat ng songs. Lolito, ini-open mo sana at maging prangka ka sana sa kanya. Kasi baka naman, unintentional yon. Empathize. There are times that we do stuff. Pinakakalimutan mo yung malalaking bagay or the small details na big deal sa iba. Di mo na mamalayan. Prangkahan kayo. Kung totoo kang kaibigan, di mo sana blinak kundi kinausap mo ng masinsinan. That's what real friends do. Di yung naghihintay ka lang lagi na may babalik sa'yo sa efforts mo like you're always expecting it from her since you help her. Unfortunately, not everyone is like that. Posting this just for a minor thing? For what? Also, kung may mental health issues si Moira, I hope she gets professional help. Or else, she'll always lose herself in every relationship. Or even lose friends. Receipts. What are you saying, Lolito Go? Na walang credit? Sa pagkakalam namin, hindi naman kailang i-announce ang co-writers every interview. Pero si Moira intentionally lagi nag-credit pag may chance. May credit ka naman sa Spotify, Apple Music at sa lahat-lahat. Properly credited ka, so for sure may royalty ka dyan, so anong dinadada mo? Isa pa, ang funny kasi yung sinulat mong kanta for Moira goes against cheating pero pinagtatanggol mo cheater. 2020 pa to, di ba yan din yung year na nagsimulang mag-cheat si Jason? So ibig bang sabihin ito, alam na ni Moy dati pa? Oh, the nerve.